about it. insane it is that it's Halloween time again like I know that my place is all Halloweenified but I don't think I've actually wrapped my head around the fact that like we're, we're doing Halloween things I just feel like if somebody told me that last Halloween was a week ago I would believe you I would believe you but sure enough it's been an entire year and I'm going to my first Halloween party event tonight I'm so excited I love to dress up for the occasion. Like I doubt, this looks so silly right now with my sweat set, okay. I've had a good productive work day. Just got some cleaning done because the place was looking disastrous. And it's now 4.30. I'm gonna start getting ready nice and early. Slash, we're just gonna do a base now because I wanna film some TikToks. And then we're gonna add like the angel costume touches in a couple hours. Starting the base off with some laser because I have some stubborn ass hairs that refuse to leave my face. Shout out to Kenzie for sponsoring today's vlog. If you haven't heard me talk about this over the few years I've been using it, this is an IPL hair removal device at home. So convenient. I've been using this since 2020. It is the best for hair removal. You can use this almost anywhere and I love that for us. Basically using this consistently, you're gonna see less hair growth, slower growth, thinner hair. I definitely don't shave nearly as often. I primarily use this on my face because it's always had hair and my underarms. I've done my legs before, but I don't really have a lot of growth there. So I really rarely touch up. I've used this on my bikini line. Like I've used this all over the place. And when you're really consistent with it, it makes a serious difference. You should see results in like two to three weeks, but you get your full results in 12. And then after that, like hair is stubborn. Hair isn't gonna go away 100% completely forever you just touch up whenever you see some growth and over time it's just slower and slower it's actually amazing if you are lazy and don't like shaving or don't want to wax and you want like a more long-term solution this is it so let me show you how it works we're gonna turn it on i like to go to the highest setting and then i just hold it over the area that i'm trying to remove and i just click you can either wear protective glasses or close your eyes I close my eyes and it really doesn't hurt like you definitely feel something it's you can feel the warmth you can sometimes smell the hair burning but i'm kind of about that because you know it's working so i just zap my whole face we're gonna do that really fast gotta get the mustache i personally really really like this instead of going and getting laser done out in the world it is so so much more affordable because you only have to buy the device once instead of going and paying per session. You also have the privacy. It's really easy to use. I mean, there are just so many benefits that outweigh anything else. Okay, I'm just going to quickly do my neck and then we're done. Love it. Nice and easy. Very fast. Efficient. I also do have a Kenzie code if you are interested in trying it out for yourself. You can use the code Para for 20% off at Kenzie.com. Link is down below. Thank you again to Kenzie for working with me. Next thing on my prep for tonight is I got to tweeze the brows because they're a little unruly. I mean, they're not unruly, but they're definitely growing in and they're not looking the cutest if you were to see me a little closer. So we're gonna quickly take care of that. Okay, just washed my face. I'm gonna let it sit for a second. I'm gonna make a little protein shake and then we're gonna do the makeup. So this year, for, or at least for this event, I am being an angel. Last year, I was the devil. I am an angel this year. <laughs> it's kind of crazy to think that this time last year, I was going to an event in LA. Like so much has changed since then. That trip to LA, I think really was the one that got me to reconsider my life. And at the time, while I was going through it, I was so low, like unshakably low. I just felt so down. And now a year later, I'm at this place where I just feel so much peace. And I'm so thankful. And I'm saying that purely for anybody in maybe a low place right now or in a good place. And I think it can be really great to reflect sometimes and look at how far you've come. In the moment, you really just never know. And then you can look back and be like, oh. It got so much better. And I just wish I could tell my year ago self, like I wish I could go sit with myself on the beach. My sad girl vibe, it'd be like, hey, one year today, your life's gonna look so different. <laughs> I think it's really cool. Okay, let's go do makeup. I'm gonna start with a little serum, this Magic Serum Crystal Elixir. Guys, I booked a hair appointment for next week. I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do. Will I do what I always think of doing, which is going dark for fall and winter? Will I do it? Will I full send moisturizer? I don't know. I have 
around five days to think about it. No, six. So I have time to ponder. The last time I asked you guys this question, it was kind of split, but I do feel like more people said to stay light. Sometimes I go back and look at videos of myself when I had dark hair. You know, it's fine, but it's just not that exciting. I think I have to go really dark to make it fun, but I don't know if I have the balls. I don't know. Also, I find that I do get bored of just plain dark hair more quickly. Like I don't usually get, you know, bored of having the highlights or balayage, whatever you want to call it. Okay, a little foundation. I'm gonna go a little heavier with the makeup today because the event is actually a makeup brand. So I feel like people are gonna be showing up with really nice faces. <laughs> Anyways, I guess we'll see what we do at the salon. I might just tell her like a little mix of both. Some dark, some light, I don't know. That would essentially be keeping what I have now. <laughs> Get to cover up what looks like a hickey, but it's just a spider bite, which won't go away. I saw some comments on Sarah's podcast episode that I was in saying that I was a lot more real in that episode. If you watch the podcast, let me know what you think. Like, I don't, I don't know. I feel like I do talk about the same stuff here, but I'm curious, like if you found that I was a lot more real in that, I would love to know your POV and why. Like, what was it specifically? Part of me is like, is it cause it was like a natural conversation with somebody else versus me just talking to myself? I don't know, let me know. But I figure I would talk Talk to you guys about something that's happening kind of right now. Just a little tea. It's not even tea. It's just like stupid boy shit. So I deleted my apps because I was kind of like, fuck this. I deleted them for many reasons. One, I just simply don't want to spend time and energy on dating right now. I simply don't want to do it. Really just want to focus on myself and not dating at all right now. So I deleted my apps, which is where I was meeting most of the men. And the day after I deleted my apps, I got a DM from a guy that I really wanted to go out with in January, which I thought was very interesting. So when he messaged me, I was like, oh my God, the universe is already <laughs> aligning things for me. I saw a TikTok talking about how the apps ruin the universe's timing and whatever, because the vibrations and the energies, and if you're putting too much energy Energy into people you were supposed to never come across in like a natural setting. You're taking time away from the universe's timing. I don't know, blah, blah, blah. I was like, wow, it's happening. <laughs> I jumped to these conclusions so fast all the time. I'm a hopeless romantic, like I really am. And so if something happens where like a story could come to be, I love it. I live for it and I will be full to Lulu. Like it's just, this is how I am. That's how I always will be. <laughs> I knew I was gonna do that. Just didn't work. Anyways, some backstory on this guy. I actually met him in the wild. <laughs> I met him naturally in December with Maddie. Maddie and I had went out to a Christmas bar and then afterwards she was DMing some guy. He invited us over to like their little mini house hang and we went and we were playing beer pong. There was like maybe four guys there and then two of us. I'm gonna use this little blush. And I was looking around like, hmm, are there any cute men here? And there was one guy that I thought was kind of cute, but like he wasn't really hanging out with us. He was just kind of doing his own thing. And before we left, he ended up coming and like talking to us. Maybe I should just do my phone. No, mm. it was pretty flirty. Like we followed each other on Instagram. He was messaging me and like implying things without actually asking me out. And he was just kind of pretty unattractive. I, I don't know. I'm into somebody that takes a little bit of action. I don't like people that are all talk. I really hate it. I just think it's so unattractive. So I ended up just like, I stopped talking to him because I was like, this is not going anywhere. I'm not gonna waste my time. And then he reached out again later in December and he was talking about like me meeting his parents and all this weird stuff. And after the meeting my parents comment, I just was like, okay, I'm just gonna throw him a bone. And I told him he was gonna have to ask me on a date first before I meet his parents. Very easy in for him to be like, okay, time and place, here you go. And then he was like, is this you asking me on a date? And I said, nope. You can ask me if you want to. And then he was like, I don't believe in the roles and blah, blah, blah. So then I was like, cool, that's you, cool. I personally am into guys that make a little bit more initiative. That's just my preference. So then he wishes me happy birthday. I'm gonna use this little eyeshadow stick all over my lid. And then he said, full transparency, I'm not in a place to be a gentleman and to take you on a proper date, but maybe we can go for coffee sometime this week. And at the time I was a lot more open to that kind of stuff. So I said, sure, sounds good, let me know. Never to be heard from again until a week ago, two weeks ago, he slides back in. He quotes his own message to me about like the coffee date and he goes, this didn't age well. And I said, no worries, didn't expect it to. <laughs> I was just giving sass at this point because I'm like, sir, I don't even remember what you look like. And then he continues to go back and forth with me still without asking me out. So I was just kind of like, go back to where you were. I don't need this. Anyways, I literally told him you're too much talk for me. Best of luck. <laughs> I don't care. Like that's where I'm at right now, truly. No, I was gonna do a transition. 
So yeah, so yeah. Anyways, he responds this last Friday, so almost a week ago, saying, you're funny, I'm free next Saturday if you wanna do something. So I still didn't like that wording. And maybe that's me being too picky. Let me know what you think. I really don't think it is. Maybe for some people it is, but I just want something different and this is not the energy that I'm looking for. So I'm simply not going to entertain it. I met somebody this summer that I'm holding these other guys too as a certain standard of how I want to be treated because I know there is somebody out there that can treat me that way so I simply just will not accept loves. I just didn't like that like it's well again putting it back on me being like if you want to do something not saying he wants to see me or anything like that so I said I'm pretty busy like if you can come up with a cool plan I'll consider it. He responds yesterday five days later he left me on red. He goes, sorry for the delayed reply. Busy be coming back from Vegas and Utah. Fun is very subjective, but I was gonna suggest a, a cheeky day drink on Ossington. I have now left him on red because I don't really know how I feel about it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Would you have gone out with him? Maybe I'm being more picky because I am just like in my single thriving era versus my trying to date era and I just simply don't care. So I'm just looking for an excuse to not go out with anybody. I don't know. Could be that. He could just be not giving what I want. Okay, so when I actually go out tonight, I'm going to put some more glitter on my lids. Some white glitter on the inside and like maybe all over, I don't know. And I'll throw on some mascara. But I think I'm going to leave it like this for now. I have around two hours until I'm going to go. So we're just going to keep it like this when I film some TikToks. I am going to do my hair. I've left it natural and air dried for the last few days because i'm trying to put less heat on it leading up to my hair appointment so it's not looking you know the cutest i've ever seen i'm gonna blow up my bangs to start i'm gonna come back and do more later this sweater so cute. Okay, okay. And now we edit a TikTok I just filmed. Aretia sent over a package and I loved everything. Go check out my TikTok if you want to see. I hope my dress fits. I haven't tried it on. It's pretty much my only option. <laughs> I could have tried it on earlier, but I didn't feel like it. So, oh, wait a second. I'm making something else. I forgot I had more of the pumpkin ravioli from Trader Joe's. So I'm gonna finish this. I'm gonna throw some broccoli in there with the sauce. And then I gotta get ready for real. I'm just gonna throw it all in a bowl and throw it in the microwave. Come on. They all stuck together. Um, a little broccoli. Okay, we are carving up. I'm definitely gonna have a couple drinks tonight, so this is, you know, the smart move. I'm also obsessed with this sweater. The green is so good. And then we have to hope this dress looks good. Fingers crossed. This was definitely better the first day I had it. The ravioli is simply always good to me. It could be warmer though. We're leaving in 15 minutes, which means I gotta, I gotta put the dress on now. I've been so cozy all day. First of all, I have these wings, you know, and then here's the dress. I think it should fit. We're gonna go upstairs, we're gonna, we're gonna get ready. The dress fits. We're just gonna finish up our makeup. Got some setting powder we're gonna put under my eyes. I love this stuff. This is uh, the flawless finish. Put under the eyes, under the cheekbones, and on the forehead so it's not shiny. A little extra bronzer. And then I'm gonna add a bunch of glowy stuff. A little bit of blush. Highlighter. Then I'm gonna use this MAC Dazzle Shadow Liquid. It's just basically glitter. And I'm gonna put that in the inner corner of my eye. Up to the middle. Last but not least, actually before the lid. I'm gonna This one is downstairs. Um, I went downstairs to get mascara. No, not Ugh. Anyways, I don't have time now. I'm gonna use this one and hope for the best. Lip liner and we're done. We're here in two minutes. I'm picking Sarah up on the way. Actually, I shouldn't worry about this. I'm gonna bring this with me. I gotta get my stuff and find white shoes. Whoa! Our first couple sunscreen. I know, look at this girl, Sarah. On the way out. Sarah, thanks. And we're off. <laughs> I keep getting Sarah in the face with my wings. It's right on my face level. Someone just took a photo of us. She's like, can we take a photo? <laughs> I know. Hello. Hi,
guacamole flight. Thank you, boy. Just got home. It's. 12.02. It got a little chaotic. My Uber was arriving and I didn't have time to show you the full outfit. So here she is. Very fun night. The event was sick. And then we went to a little Mexican restaurant for some food afterwards. And now we're home. I think Sarah and I are going to go out tomorrow night. So I got to go to bed so I can have energy for tomorrow. <laughs> Love ya. See you when I see you. And we're back. It's been one second for you, five days for me. I almost never go that long without vlogging. Not that you would have noticed because I just got ahead on the vlogs and therefore I had some time to take off without filming, even though there was some filming. I haven't like vlog vlogged since the last time I saw you, which again, literally one second for you. I've been recharging. It's been feeling really good. It's always really nice when I get ahead on the vlogs and then I can take a chunk of time to recharge myself. And then when I pick up the camera again, I'm so excited to vlog and like chat and catch up because it feels like I haven't seen you for a while. <laughs> Anyways, good morning. Today was supposed to be the day that I get my hair done. I was so excited. And I was on Pinterest last night looking for different pictures. And as I was scrolling on Pinterest, I got a DM from the hairdresser saying, hey, gonna have to reschedule you. Something came up. So now I'm not getting my hair done, which means I'm gonna throw something else in the vlog. I plan the vlogs based on what's happening in my life. And I can usually plan ahead if I have things scheduled in like events or a hair appointment. But because there is no longer a hair appointment, I'm gonna show you what I did on Monday, which you've seen the title, so you know. But before that, uh, do I wanna make a coffee or do I wanna make something else? Or do I make a combo of something else? We're gonna make a combo. I got new Nespresso pods. So right now I have this caramel guy and the hazelnut. I'm liking the hazelnut. This is actually pretty good. Okay, just kidding. We went for black coffee. New rule I made for myself is no more sugary sweet drinks during the week. I'm trying to find structure and little things to implement into my life that are better for me or whatever. You guys know I love my creamy yummy beverages in the morning. Like I love it. But you know what? I have started drinking the black coffee I think like for a week now and I've kind of gotten used to it which is weird. It's not bad. It's not as good, but I would not say it's bad like at all. I'm trying new things. As it's been some days since we last spoke, I have a couple of updates. First update being fourth wing. We gotta talk about it. I finished that book yesterday and I think it's so funny that I went into that thinking, oh, I'm not gonna like it. Like I, I read two, three pages and I was like, no, not for me. Oh, it was for me. It was for me. I love that book. The ending shook me. If you know, you know. I did not see that coming. And I'm so excited that I only have two weeks, now 13 days until the next one comes out. I didn't think that I was gonna care for dragons the way that I do right now. Like, oh my God, all I wanna do is think about that book. Dare I say, I want to reread it already. Like I wanna start from the beginning just so I can go back into that world. Also after finishing it, I was able to finally Google things and like TikTok stuff. I was too nervous to search anything about this book. Like I didn't wanna search fourth wing. So I was nervous I would get some kind of spoiler. I was not spoiled at all, which I'm very thankful for. And then I did like a deep dive on some theories. So now I wanna reread it to like pick up on all of the Easter eggs. I have so much I could say about this book. It was the first book that I, it was the first fantasy book that I read without seeing the movie beforehand. Like with Harry Potter, I read a couple of, two or three of those books when I started dabbling into reading in 2021, but I had seen the movies beforehand. So when I was reading it, I could like visualize the world and what everyone looked like. Same with Hunger Games and Twilight. I had read those after watching the movies. So with this book, it was a whole new world that I didn't have like a visual to go off of. And now I have this whole visual in my head and I can only imagine if they make a movie, I'm like, that's not right. That's not what I pictured. Anyways, fantastic book. I'm so excited. I was gonna buy the physical copy yesterday, but then I saw the coming out with a limited edition copy on the day that the second book comes out and it has extended chapters from Zayden's point of view. And I see, I want the original copy because it, you know, it's the fourth wing bond. But then I also want the other chapters. So part of me is like, do I get both? Like one is a special copy. One is a regular copy. Like. Do the book collectors get both? Someone let me know before I make a decision. I'm gonna hold off until you let me know, which is taking a lot of the strain. So, let me know. The other thing, this is week six of my eight week running program. Can't believe I've made it six weeks in. Last week I was really struggling to 
stick to just doing the program because I'm like, I want to bump this up. I'm ready to do more. But then I kept telling myself, don't do that. Don't push yourself. What have I done this week? I'm not sticking to the program. I ran Monday and Tuesday. Today's Wednesday, I'm not gonna run, and I am gonna hold off until Friday. And then maybe again, I'm gonna run on Sunday. I now have a new reason to want to fast track this experience, which my dad now keeps telling me, you cannot fast track fitness. Like you cannot do it. You can't rush ahead. Your body needs to recover and relax and whatever. That's not how I work. When I want something, I want it like yesterday. And that is, I think why I have fallen off my workout routines or whatever I've attempted to get into as like a lifestyle change. I fall off because I need immediate results. If I want to be a runner, I want to be running like the half marathon yesterday. And that is obviously extremely unrealistic, but that's how my brain works. <laughs> so with a lot of things, if I don't see like immediate results, I'm gonna get bored. But I am very solid on sticking to running. I really like the way that I've been feeling. I've been looking forward to the runs. I like that you can see tangible results. Like you can see how your endurance builds and your cardio and just like seeing you know, how long I can run for without feeling tired and seeing that build over these last six weeks has been really, really enjoyable. It's not as immediate as I want. Like I wanna be running a 10K tomorrow, but right now I can run a 3K. That's what I did on Monday. I wanted to see how long it took me to run 3K just so I can have like a marker and look back in another month from now and see if I can speed up that time. But I also really want to bump up the progression of this, which is not realistic, but because Sarah wants to run a 5K through Central Park in a couple weeks when we go to New York. And I want to do that. Like I want to run through Central Park. That sounds so awesome. But to be honest, I said it last week that I think I could run a 5K. I don't think I could run a 5K. <laughs> I don't think I can do it yet. And I'm not embarrassed to admit that because quite honestly, I am as beginner as it gets with the fitness levels. Like it's couch to 5K, I'm, I'm couch. <laughs> I mean, I'm on my way, but you know what I'm saying. My baseline level of fitness is in the negatives. But I am truly inspired and motivated to really pass that 5K mark and just have this in my life. So we're gonna see where we're at in two weeks. I feel like with another two weeks of running, I'm gonna be running like every other day just to build. Unless I feel any kind of soreness, then I am going to let my body recharge, but I would like to run 5K through Central Park. I would really like that. We'll see. But it's 9.30, I gotta get some work done and then I'm gonna fill you in on the book nook. It's lunchtime. If you missed it, I was recently very inspired to create a book nook. Somewhat inspired by the Harry Potter closet I have in LA. In my LA house, I have a little closet under the stairs that I converted into like a vibey spot, purely for TikTok, but it was content purposes. And I kind of wanted to do the same here, but I wanted to make a book nook, like a little mini library to read my books in. But if we're being realistic, that is not practical at all. Not at all. I have no need to read in a small closet under the stairs. Like I just don't need to do that. Nor do I even read the physical copies of the books that I have. I read on my Kindle, but for content purposes, so much fun, like so fun to make. So I thought of a way to make it both fun for content, social media, but also make it super practical. For social media, it's gonna be a book nook. It's gonna be a vibe. But for real life, <laughs> it's gonna be my home decor closet. As somebody that like loves and lives for home decor and seemingly can't stop buying more of it constantly, it makes a lot of sense to have a space where it's a lot more accessible, especially for the seasons. And that closet is so perfect. It's a perfect amount of space. It's honestly the dream to have a whole space where I can look at all of my home decor, grab as the seasons come and go. I mean, it's just perfect. So a few days ago, my dad and I went to Home Depot to go get the supplies. Maybe you get a cedar one then, because then it'll fill the room with Oh, cedar. with the smell, that's not a bad idea. Oh. Now they're all cut up and we have shelves. <laughs> Just like that. that was amazing. Then I will do it. Then I can start looking in my room. All right. It seems we're getting the book nook up today. The floor of the closet. Coffee break. Maybe a new skill. Well, another day, another new skill. One's going in. Did some technique my dad found on YouTube. <laughs> That's relatively close. Wow! Four hours later, and we have full shelves on the wall. 
How crazy. One second you have an idea in your head, the next second you have in front of you. So good. This is it for day one. We have a few more things to do until it's like done, but like, Incredible, love it. And now back to today. Since I don't have my hair appointment anymore, my dad's gonna come over and we're going to secure the shelves with glue and just like finish them off so that they can actually hold weight. They're probably fine right now, but just for some extra security, we're going to secure them even more. And once that's dried, I'm going to start filling the shelves as well as adding some vibey shit in there for the sake of content purposes. Things that don't really go hand in hand with like a storage closet, but for the sake of fun content, it's gonna be really cool. For lunch, we have a little rice veggie bowl. We have sweet potato, broccoli, rice, garlic, spinach, avocado, um, and red onion. Topping with sriracha and a little bit of ranch. Voila. My dad's gonna be coming over sometime this afternoon and we're gonna get back to the book nook. Hey. How you doing? Good, how are you? What is that? The adhesive we need. We are taping the edges. When I say we, I mean he. Dad's in charge of, you know, the logistical stuff. I'm in charge of the vibe. We're taping the wood so the glue doesn't get on it. And then we'll once- call it adhesive. Oh, adhesive, yes. Fancier name. And it's gonna be very sturdy. Should be. I'm gonna try and get adhesive into these cracks. Here. Quick hour later, and now we gotta let it sit for 24 hours. So there's the adhesive in between all the cracks on the sides now. We're gonna let that sit and leave it here for today. I'm gonna order a couple things on Amazon. That's gonna make it like a vibe down there for the book nook concept. So that's where it's gonna be for today. I ordered a new wallet. So this is the one that I've had for years. I have loved it. It's a fantastic wallet. I have matching with my mom actually. I think we got it maybe 2016. I don't know, it was a long, long time ago. And I decided I was gonna get a little upgrade or just a new version, a new 2023 version. I saw this one on Revolve actually. And I just thought it was so cute. I personally love a card holder instead of a big chunky wallet. Like this just fits in all my bags. So we're going to fill it together. I'm gonna link it down below. I also really liked the brown. I just thought it was nice. My IDs, I actually have so many IDs in here. I have my Nexus card, my driver's license, health card. I have my FITM ID from when I went to school. I haven't used this in a while, but there was a moment there where I was no longer a student and I was using it to get student discounts at stores. It says 2014 on it, so probably not gonna work anymore. Maybe I should not use that. Oh God, it's so fresh that it's like hard to get my cards in. Whereas this one is just it's so easy to throw things in here. Then we have, what is this? I have a card for my grandparents' Florida community. What date is it? This is 2022, don't need that. Cash, oh, and a memory card. More cash. Uh, I have this business card from Shea Black from when I was in Italy last year. And anything else? That's it. It's kind of funny, like I fully live in Canada, yet I walk around with American money. That feels kind of wrong. Maybe I should put some Canadian cash in here. Also, I'm just saying, our money is cuter. <laughs> I almost never ever buy anything with cash, but it's good to have on hand. And there she is. I love it, I'm so excited. So freaking cute. I guess I'll just keep this stuff in here. I don't know where else to put it. Oh my God, I'm actually obsessed. Okay, and now I'm just going to work for the rest of the day. Actually, this evening I have very fun Halloween-y plans. We're doing a little girls' night at Allie's. So me and Sarah are gonna go over to her place and we're gonna be painting pumpkins as well as making spooky pizzas. We saw a bunch of people do this on TikTok a few weeks ago. And so obviously we have to do it as well. But I will see you guys when I'm getting ready to go out. Today seriously flew by. It's now 6.25. I just washed my face. I'm gonna throw on some moisturizer and like the bare minimum of makeup. And then I'm gonna head over to Allie's. So I'm just gonna do, I don't know, moisturizer, concealer, maybe blush, mascara. We're just gonna go super, super minimal here. It's just a cute little girls night in tonight. I'm also so excited to meet Allie's dog, Blue. She is so cute and I'm just so excited to play with a dog. A little blush. I love a stick. Like stick makeup is so good. It's just so easy. I always feel kind of weird if I just do like a little bit of makeup. Something looks wrong with my face. A little dusting of finishing powder, bronzer. Just a little bit. I've been meaning to self tan recently. I feel like I could use some. Actually, you know what? I will self tan for Halloween weekend. Mascara and we're out the door. It's gonna be such a fun night. I'm so excited. We've been talking about doing this for weeks. 
So I'm really looking forward to it. It's really the last week to do any spooky stuff. So we gotta take it in. Actually, this is going up on Friday. So the Friday of Halloween weekend. Let me know in the comments, are you going out and doing things or are you staying in having a cozy weekend? Let me know down below. Okay, we're calling an Uber. I'm gonna bring my book in the car. I started reading another Friday McFadden, something super easy. I just need something really easy that I know I can fly through to get me through the two weeks that I have to wait until this next book. Okay, where am I going? Allie. Uber's here in five minutes. So I'm gonna pack my bag, get myself ready. I'm taking the Talking Fast tote. We're gonna go for two bottles of wine. I have a red and a white. I thought this bottle was like, it kind of looks like one of those, what was it called, Voss water bottles? I was kind of intrigued by it. I figured, you know what, why not try something weird? This is the red that I always get, the Cab Sav from Bread and Butter. And then I'm gonna bring whatever pizza toppings I have in the fridge. Plus my Kindle. I need something to read in the car. Okay, two minutes away. gonna wait until you guys told me what to do. I decided I wanted it. <laughs> and then I ordered it and it's here today. I wanted to see the map with my own eyes. The last sentence kills me. I'm not gonna lie. I also did pre-order the <laughs> limited edition version with the extra chapters. This is such a good book. I really had to have it. I just did. If you can't tell, there's been a lot of wine consumed. It was such a fun night. So much good food. There was so much pizza and cookies and I'm so Full. So I'm going to get into pajamas, get into bed, and go to sleep. I'm gonna end the vlog here. Hope you enjoyed watching it. I love you so much, and I will see you in the next vlog for the full Halloween weekend. 